Now, so far, uh, we've seen how we can actually get all the values from a drop down list by adding our own logic, right? Now, what we've used over here is a find element by tag name method, and we have given the tag name as option. Now, if you take a look at this drop down uh, element, so on this page, there was only one drop down list, right? And as per the HTML standard, uh, all these values, all the values that are there in a drop down list should be inside an option tag only, right? So had there been more than one drop down list on this web page, so the values that are there inside, uh, that should be there inside those drop down will also be there in the option tag, right? It means that if we have more than one drop down list on a page, then all, all the drop down option values are inside the option tag only. So whenever we say uh, driver dot find element tag name option, then it should not only get the option tag values from this drop down, rather it should get it from all the drop downs that are available on a page. But I don't want to do it in this way. I actually want to uh, get values from the end uh, this particular drop down list only, right? So we're going to take a look at it. But before that, uh, I would like to tell you another thing that how we can actually get the entire links printed from this web page, right? So how we can print the entire links from the web page? It, it's again very easy. So what we have done, uh, if you take a look at this logic, same logic will be applied in order to print links from a web page, right? How we can do that? Uh, if you, if I click on any link, let's say this, if you take a look at uh, the link in the HTML, let's say I click on any link, you can see what is common in all these links. The href is not common. Most of the people say that href. Href if uh, href is just an attribute. If href is common, then all the links should share the same URL, right? So href is not common. The only thing common is the anchor tag, the a tag. It's again the HTML standard. All the links will gonna start from the anchor tag. So over here. If I say find element by the tag name A, it should all it should actually gonna print all links. So what I'll do, I'll just add a separator over here. Print. I'll say printing all links, right? And I can copy the same code, same logic over here as well. I'll say all links equal to A. Right, and then I'll find total number of links as well. So I can run a loop, I'll say for values in all links. And I can get the attribute href. So if I get the attribute href, it should actually gonna print the URLs for all links, right? So let's run this and let's see if it's gonna print all links or not. See, it is printing the entire links. And let's see the count of links. There are total 314 links on this page. And if you really want to check that this answer is accurate, then do one thing. Uh, go over here and just write double backslash A. Press enter and you can see it is actually showing 314 matching nodes. All right. So it means that there are 314 anchor tags, 314 links on the page. So that is how we have extracted the entire links. Now, doing this command, again, let's come back to the same question where we were discussing how we can get option values from a particular drop down list. Same way when I said driver dot find element spy dot tag name a it has actually extracted the links from the entire page now i don't want to do it from the entire page i want links from any particular section let's say from this section uh, let's try to locate this section i'll remove one of the div over here from this section right 
So in all total, there are 12 links. I just want to print these links within this section. So how are we going to do it? Now, I don't want to uh, search it in entire page. So what I'm going to do, this is how uh, where we store the elements and then we uh, do manipulations on the element. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the path of this section or this block and I can say uh, block equal to driver dot find element by x path and I'll give this x path over here. I can store it like this, right? So this is a single element. Now what I can do, uh, instead of driver, I can say block dot find elements. So what it will gonna do, this find element is actually returning us a web element only. And what we have done, we have stored this web element into this web element. So using this web element, I can actually work on other web elements. I can call another methods of web element itself. So I'll save this and I'll run this again. And let's see if it's gonna print the links within this section or not. So it should print actually 12 links. See, it has only printed 12 links. The very first link is Quiggy Dictionary. If you take a look over here, it's Wiki Dictionary. The last one is MetaWiki. So it's MetaWiki, right? So this is how we can uh, manipulate elements as well. We can find elements within the elements as well, right? Same thing we're gonna do with the dropdown. Now, instead of element by tag name, I can straight away give dropdown.findElements. So in this case, it will only gonna hit that particular element and it will only gonna get the option tags from that particular dropdown element, not from the entire dropdown um, list or dropdown uh, options from, from the entire page. All right. Next, we're gonna look at how to handle checkboxes and radio buttons.